Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and Disney actually invited me out so that I can show you some of the incredible food items from their Flavors of Florida food event. There are 30 participating locations this year and Gideon's is one of them. So I'm so excited to try the new cookie of the month and I figured we'd come on down, eat some food, do some shopping and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Here is the event guide for the Flavors of Florida. And this year it's going from July 1st to August 13th. Over 30 locations and all of the menu is in here. You can see they've got some nice pastries over at Amaretz. Look at that orange bird dome cake. And then they've got the Boathouse, Art Smith's. There are so many. The Deluxe Burger actually has the Lime Garage Burger. And I love all of this food. And we're gonna try a lot of it. We're gonna try tons of it actually. On top of all of the amazing food and beverage offerings for the flavors of Florida, they're also doing a culinary series where some of the chefs from around Disney Springs are going to be doing a food presentation in front of everyone. And they're going to be doing that every single Friday. And today we're going to be going to one of those food presentations. And it's going to be with George from Wine Bar George. And I'm so excited. He's going to be whipping up one of his signature items and we're going to get to try it. But first, I think we need to go to Gideon's. It looks like we are in luck today because it is not busy at Disney Springs at all. Uh, they have a standby line only, no virtual queue. So it's just about a uh, 10 minute wait. There are a bunch of sit-down restaurants participating in the Flavors of Florida this year. So we got reservations at Haleo, which is awesome because I haven't been there in forever. And they actually have like five new dishes uh, that they added just for the Flavors of Florida. But that'll be later on, but I'm excited that we're going to be eating there at least. Here is the artwork for Gideon's for the month of July. And I actually like this artwork. It's gonna be a nice addition to my collection. And like I mentioned, July is Flavors of Florida. And your official cookie for the Flavors of Florida is the Key Lime Chocolate Chip Cookie. Look at that, but wait! There's more because they have two cookies of the month. They also have a coconut caramel chocolate chip cookie. Wow, that's a returning cookie, but still two cookies of the month, kind of. And they also have the orange mocha nitro cold brew. So they've got two cookies and a coffee, and I think we're gonna get them both or get all three. It is so hot out today, so I'm kind of excited just to take it easy and walk around the springs and try a whole bunch of different drinks and food items and maybe stay in the AC as much as possible. All right, the goods have arrived and we ended up getting the orange cold brew coffee and then delicious things await. I love this box too, I always talk about it. And they actually started putting collectible trading cards inside the box. So take a look here, memento more for me. And uh, in this box lies a succulent sweet that exists our world so that you may eat. Look at that. And I'm gonna pull the cookies out. Let's see, oh, there's even stuff in the bottom too. Look at that. Oh, here's the cookie right here. It was on the bottom of the, uh, the here's the card underneath the cookie. So here's the collectible trading card. Look at that. That's kind of fancy. We'll come back to that though. These cookies have definitely melted because they've been sitting out for a couple of minutes and it's so hot out here. It only takes like two minutes before it actually starts getting like a chocolate gooey mess, but here they are. We've got the key lime cookie right here. Look at that, lots of chocolate chips on there and you can actually see the pie crust. Look at that, I love that. And then here is the coconut chocolate chip. Both of them, I set them up on a nice little display box for you. Doesn't that look so fancy? These are thick. I don't know which one to start with. I think we'll start, let's, let's do the key lime one. We'll start the key lime pie one. I got my coffee here ready to go. I think we'll drink the coffee in between. And I know I'm gonna make a mess already, but here we go, look at this. This is the key lime pie chocolate chip cookie. And you know we're gonna have to break it apart. It's already kind of breaking apart itself, but here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. First bite. First bite. Hope I don't get chocolate all over my camera. It's very good. 
you can definitely taste that key lime inside the cookie. And actually on the inside, it's more like cookie than it is chocolate chips. In fact, I don't see any chocolate chips really there. And this is the pie crust. You can see the difference in color. That is so awesome. I like this cookie a lot. I'll let you know which one I like better. I'm sure it's not gonna rank high, both of them, because you know the banana bread was such a great cookie, but um, I'm willing to see what this uh, coconut one's gonna be like. I feel kind of special. We're doing two cookie breaks in one video. Oof, and all the coconuts start falling off on the box there. This one's a big mess. Oh boy, this is a very big messy one. So here we go. I kind of like the coconut one better. Now the only thing is though, is this one has like a mixture of ingredients in between the cookie. See on this side, this is the coconut one right here. And then this is the key lime one. I feel like the key lime one is thicker almost. It looks so different, doesn't it? But I like the coconut one. You can really taste the coconut in there and the chocolate chip and of course the regular cookie taste. Both of them are good though. I think these birds are looking at my stuff though. Oh yeah, they are. Look at that. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'd go with the coconut one. I forgot to drink the drink. It's good. It tastes a little orangey. It's not the best though. I still love the pumpkin one. The pumpkin one was my favorite. There's a lot of birds around me. Holy moly. All right, enough of the cookie business. It's time to make our way over to the culinary series and uh, see uh, Wine Bar George, or see, see George from Wine Bar George. And here is where the culinary series is gonna take place, right in between the hangar bar and the boathouse. And today we have Wine Bar George, and we have George from Wine Bar George here today, and he's gonna be preparing uh, some food for us to try. But look, July 28th, Gideon's is gonna be here. Wow, are they gonna teach us how to make Gideon's cookies? I feel like I have to come for that. If you want to come to any of the culinary demonstrations that they're having here, you just have to go to Disney Springs. I'll put a link in the description and register. I'm pretty sure it's free and you get a little food item, whatever they're presenting or preparing. And I think that's kind of awesome. And also that whole entire bit about staying in AC, well, it's all outdoors, but that's okay. Cause it's a beautiful day, hot day in Florida. Thank you so much for being here. Ooh, and I see some of my favorite uh, content creators out there. <laughs> so welcome to everyone. Hi there. My name is Mark, and I'll be your host for this really awesome culinary experience. So right now, I'd like to say to everyone, welcome to Disney Springs Flavors of Florida, presented by Corksicle. They make things that cool, and they make cool things. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I get a free Corksicle every time I say that. I'm just kidding, but I'm not. All right. Well, this is really cool because this experience is exclusive to Disney Springs. You see, restaurants across Disney Springs property have created unique dishes that pay tribute to Florida and everything homegrown in the Sunshine State. And it runs until August 13th, so you don't want to miss it. We are honored to welcome an esteemed expert in the world of wine. He's a master sommelier, beverage director, and all-around great guy and the owner of Wine Bar George, and he puts the George in Wine Bar George. Please welcome George Miliotis. <laughs> yes, indeed. George, welcome. Thank you. You got that nice ice skull. Ooh, that's a nice corksicle with your name on there as well. All right. It is. Yeah. Now, George, I had a fantastic experience at Wine Bar George, like I mentioned. Now, maybe some people haven't been there. If guests go to Wine Bar George, what can they experience? Well, Mark, you were nice enough to kind of lay the track for me with 200 wines are all available by the bottle, the glass, or the ounce. And this is one of the only maybe four or five places in the world that you can do that. And whether it's a glass of Moscato or a glass of uh, Mouton Rothschild 2009 that you've always dreamed about trying, we have that ability to serve those to you. Uh, oh. single but now, George, just one second, because you're very humble. You just kind of threw that out there. I'm a master sommelier. Listen here. That is not something easy. There are only 269 people in the world that hold that title. George, come on now, right there. All right, so it's 273, but who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> but I want to talk about a couple things that are really, really specific to Florida. We're going to start with the bread. Um, comes from Old Hearth Bakery here in Orlando. But what's special about it 
is the mother yeast that we make this sourdough with, or that Old Hearth makes the sourdough with, it's been here in Florida for 15 years. And when a mother yeast that they start every single day with that same strain of yeast um, is in a place more than a year or two, it starts to take on its own kind of life and its own flavor. So the base of what Will's going to use to build the burrata, and you'll see when you get yours, is the Old Hearth bread. Um, and then, and kind of the two things um, that really get me excited, and in particular, the one thing that gets me excited, excited about this, is Will's going to top that bread with corn and tomatoes. And that's the dish. We finish it with just a little bit of that micro basil, lemon basil that we get here in Orlando. And that's the final plate. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. Executive Chef Will, you make it look so easy. <laughs> Well, that was kind of really awesome. I love George. I think he's one of the hardest working like owner operators out there. Every time I come to Wine Bar George, he's in there running around, busting tables, talking to everybody, and he's a master souvenir. I mean, that is so amazing. It's such an incredible thing. They said there's only, there's under 300 of them in the world. And uh, now it's uh, time to grab some of the food that he prepared. This is really nifty because they teach you how to cook it and then you get to try it. And it looks good too. I'm not the biggest fan of burrata, but Kristen is and she's going to give it a go. You love it. I love burrata. Burrata is one of my favorite cheeses, I do have to say. Yeah. I try to get a bite with kind of everything on there. Oh yeah, that's the way. It that looks like you're way. struggling a little bit. <laughs> there you go. Very Make a little sandwich. It looks like you're playing with an egg. It does, honestly. Is it good? Compliments to the chef. So good. When I go to Wine Bar George, I always get the burrata. It's one of my favorite things to get there. I also love the, the cheese on fire. Everything is good, honestly. And the mac and cheese mm. bites. Kristen liked the burrata, and like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of it, so I'm gonna wait and try something else. I mean, we're gonna be trying a lot of different items, and now I kinda wanna go grab something to drink, either uh, like a nice little old-fashioned or a frozen beverage, something like that. We've made our way up to Dockside Margaritas because for the flavors of Florida, they have the frozen orange daiquiri, Siesta Key Silver Rum, orange juice, vanilla soft serve, and it's garnished with an orange wedge for $16.50. And uh, we're gonna give it a try. Give it a go, you know? Look at those, wow. We found a nice little spot by the water here, and we're gonna sit down and uh, enjoy our daiquiri. This honestly looks so refreshing right now. It also looks like there's a storm a brewing. Look at that. Oh wow, look at the lightning. And they're uh, doing a dance, like uh, a dance uh, like show over here. And I think they're uh, listening to a Goofy movie. They're uh, dancing to Stand Out. Just sitting here on the water, drinking some orange daiquiris, listening to some thunder. Life couldn't get any better. Cheers, Cheers. to Dockside Margaritas. A delicious daiquiri. A delicious da Dockside daiquiris is what they should call oh, yeah. it. <laughs> Wow, we've got the lightning, we've got the fire on the Rainforest Cafe, the thunder. This is unique. This is a, a daiquiri experience right now. Oh, it's starting to rain. Uh-oh. We gotta seek, we gotta seek some shelter. Shelter! In true Florida fashion, the rain came and immediately stopped. Like literally we ran into the uh, World of Disney on one end and it was pouring out and by the time we walked through the World of Disney and came out the other end, it stopped raining. Like crazy, right? So since we're here at Amaretz, might as well hop in and get the new orange board or a dome cake and holy moly, that lightning and thunder is crazy. You hear that thunder? I know, right? The lightning and the thunder? The lightning and the thunder. <laughs> they have the gigantic orange bird cur uh, dome cake 
$65 for this, but it's huge. It's the size of my hand, I would say. And then they also have the orange cream puff, which is this one right here. So I think we'll stick to the $8 one, even though I wouldn't mind trying the $65 one, but that's a lot of cake and we definitely couldn't eat it all today. That orange bird dome cake looks so good, $65. But I also wanna point out, if you come to do the cake decorating class here at uh, Amaretz, they do like a cake decorating class, uh, they're doing that orange bird dome cake every single day for the month of July. So if you signed up for that, that's exactly what you're gonna be creating. And uh, if you do sign up, let me know how it tastes. But I did end up getting the orange like cream puff and I asked for it to go. They always have fancy bags and amorettes. Look at that. Look at this little thing. I don't know how to open up the box. Oh, there it goes. It's gonna slide out so perfectly. Delicious things await inside here too. Oh, look at this. It's so precious looking. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to cut it in half and see what's on the inside there. I love these little uh, like uh, like dome uh, like puff uh, cream puffs. They're actually really good. We're gonna cut this little uh, cream puff in half. Oh boy! I I, <laughs> I butchered it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. I honestly am obsessed with the way this looks on the inside. Doesn't this look so good? But anyway, here we go. We got some rain coming down on us. We gotta try this before we end up getting uh, soaking wet. That is amazing. I like that a lot. It's a very light dessert. I think it's uh, how they actually prepare it. It's got like that flaky crust in there kind of, but it's soft. I like this a lot. I had a pistachio one like this before and it was phenomenal, but the orange one you can taste. Like you can taste the oranges in there, but I just love the pastry itself. Now that we've had the cream puff, it's time to make our way down to Haleo, which is on the other side of Disney Springs, and it's starting to rain again, and I'm excited. I want something savory, you know? We've had cookies, we've had uh, margaritas, not margaritas, we had daiquiris, and then uh, we had a cream puff. So now it's time for some more savory items. Here is the menu for Haleo, and look at all of the flavors of Florida items that they got. They've got scallops, they've got shrimp, they've got duck, they've got everything here. And like I said, I think we're gonna get them all. Also, the Florida shrimp tacos at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar look pretty amazing, along with the Florida meal. There is literally something everywhere. Everywhere is participating this year, I feel like. Like if you're at Disney Springs and you're not one of those 30 locations, who are you? Like, I want to know who is not participating. Why wouldn't they just say everywhere? I'll tell you what, this Florida rain is so unpredictable. Like, <laughs> it's so hot outside that when it starts raining, it feels good and it cools you off. But when it stops, I feel like the humidity goes up higher. And I got myself a little fan today, trying to stay cool. And it actually works pretty good. Realistically, this is probably going to be the last time I bring this fan with me because when I bought it, I thought it was a great idea. Like, oh, I'll carry the fan around, keep myself cool, but uh, I don't like to carry things around with me and I'll probably just forget about it and leave it in my car. That's what happened to the last one. It's funny because I bought one of these a long time ago and uh, my mom came down to visit and she found it in my glove box. And she's like, why don't you use this? And I was like, I forgot I even had it. We've made our way down to Haleo, and right next door is Summer House, which is Disney Springs' newest restaurant that they're building. Look at it, it's coming along quick, and it should be open soon. Here's a look at some of the food that they're gonna be serving. This all looks very delicious. I can't wait for this restaurant to open up. It's gonna be a nice waterfront-like restaurant here at Disney Springs. Haleo is a tapas restaurant, so it's all small plates and we're gonna be sharing everything because I'm with Kristen. And uh, it's also good to have Kristen here because a lot of the stuff, I don't even know how to pronounce, let alone know what it is. So she's good to have to back me up a little bit because like I said, I'm, I'm not very well ventured into the world of food, uh, but I'm trying, I'm, I'm learning, I'm eating new things every day. 
on top of all the uh, food that we're gonna be getting. We're gonna order this whole entire menu right here because it's literally a Flavors of Florida menu. Uh, they also have a gin-based drink. It looks like it's a mixture between gin, orange liqueur, orange juice, and kava. So that's actually, I think that might be semi like delicious. I don't know, I'm not a big gin fan, but I like all the orange. We decided to sit outside because it stopped raining and it's actually really beautiful out. We got some fans that keep us nice and cool and the restaurant is very beautiful on the inside. It's just a little bit too noisy so that's why I like sitting out here. But the bathrooms in here are amazing. I don't film bathrooms much but I might actually show you that later on if nobody's inside there. They are really cool looking bathrooms. Here is the Agua de Valencia, which is uh, the Ford's London gin drink, and it looks so bright. Everything looks Florida-ish, like colorful and beautiful and orangey, but like we learned uh, from uh, George, uh, Florida isn't well known for its oranges as much as it's known for its sweet corn. It's like the sweet corn capital of the world, and orange capital of the world, I would say so too, but I'm kind of excited to try it. Cheers to Florida. Let's see how this goes. This is so refreshing. Holy moly. I honestly feel like I'm drinking an Aperol spritz, but this is so good. You can't taste much of the gin. The orange is really popping out for me. That's because it's got orange liqueur in it as well, but I like this a lot. I could sip on this on a hot summer day all day long. And then the first thing that came out is the Florida watermelon salad with heirloom tomatoes and a PX reduction. Look at that right here. It looks so fancy. Have you ever seen a fancier watermelon salad? You can see they've got goat cheese in there, pistachios, sherry dressing. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I know I'm gonna like the watermelon, but I'm not too sure I like that goat cheese on there. Don't worry, I know I'm gonna like this. Oh yeah, you're right gonna like that goat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying that watermelon, but it looks so good. Like, it, it looks good, but I'm just hesitant because of the goat cheese. All right, I'm diving into the watermelon salad. Got some of the pistachio on there, the reduction, and then some of the uh, sherry dressing. See how it goes. I got everything except for the goat cheese. Oh, that's actually really light. I'm not too sure how I like the sherry reduction, though. Like, the watermelon is really, really good. Ooh, I just got a little of that pistachio. I like that. Watermelon pistachio. Watermelon sugar. Hi. They just brought over the second dish, and this is a 24-month-old cured Serrano ham with summer melon and sherry dressing. Look at this. It looks so beautiful. It looks like a piece of art, honestly. All of it does. Well, that not so much anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> but that really does. Like, it looks like a beautiful flower in bloom. To be honest, I've never had ham and cantaloupe together. Like, I, I never, I didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> ham and cantaloupe. But I'm excited to try it. It's very, it's strong. It's very, the, the smell is very strong. You can really smell the sherry dressing on there. And uh, I guess we're just going to go in for it. I'm kind of afraid of how I'm going to react. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, I like ham. I like cantaloupe. So, I mean, it's got to be good. Oh, yeah. Honestly, I was expecting more and worse at the same time, but like, it kind of just tastes like wet ham. <laughs> yeah, like that's what it tastes. I don't taste, I don't taste any of the cantaloupe. I taste some of the dressing, but it's just slimy ham, I feel like. Because <laughs> it's like, it's soaked in the, the dressing, you know? And up next is going to be the scallop dish. And I thought that it was going to be cooked scallops, but they're actually raw scallops. And I've never had raw scallops before. And I'm not the biggest fan of raw fish, but I am still going to try it because I'm very interested. And this comes with um, a clarified gazpacho. 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 It comes with a clarified gazpacho and Valencia oranges. And you can see the scallops down there. It's like sliced very thin. This is gonna be interesting. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try a little bit of the raw scallop, the orange, and then I think there's pepper on there or something. 
I, I'm, I'm a little nervous. It, the smell is very strong. It's a very strong smelling scallop. Okay, here we go. It's not bad. The orange actually makes it very flavorful. And I couldn't tell with the texture, I couldn't tell which one I was chewing on. I didn't know if I was chewing on a scallop or an orange. But it's, I, yeah, I was shocked. I thought it was gonna be horrible. Look, I'm, I'm gonna go in for another bite. I'm gonna, gra I, I, I grabbed one and then I cut it in half, but I can eat another bite. Wow. And I also wanna point this out. This is the bottom of a scallop shell. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really think the smell is just the shell itself because honestly, it just, it just tastes like a scallop to me. Very meaty and the oranges actually have a strong uh, influence on the taste itself, but I mean, it's good. I mean, I don't think I would automatically order this. I would rather my scallops cooked and seared, but we did end up getting the beer battered Key West pink shrimp with caper mayonnaise. And look at the size of this shrimp. Look at that. Holy moly, these are gonna be so good. I am so excited for these. The batter on this shrimp is so flaky. I, it's like, these smell so good. And we're just gonna dive in, here we go. This is such an amazing fried shrimp. Uh, me and Kristen both said this might be one of the best fried shrimp I've ever had. So meaty, look at the size of that shrimp. And the batter is so crispy, yet light. Kind of like tempura, but it's beer battered, and I love it. Wow, this, was a, this, is a, this is the winner for me. But we still have the duck. We've got the duck coming out soon. There are a lot of shrimp in that basket, though. I would say, what, at least 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Oh, and plus this one, ten. I counted, yeah. Oh, you counted mine? Oh, so you do get a lot, and I, I think it's uh, like $22, $22, but it's worth it. I really do love it. It's going to be hard to top that shrimp, but the duck has arrived, and look at how beautiful this looks. I'm honestly just so shocked on how amazing everything looks. This is seared duck with peaches and Valencia orange glaze, and look at that all on there. Wow, we asked them to cook the duck. They asked how we wanted it cooked, and we said uh, just let the chef, you know, chef's preference and it looks phenomenal this is gonna be a great dish i i feel like this might beat the shrimp even though we only have two shrimp left we got two shrimp left kristen <laughs> i am beyond excited to try this i got a little bit of the seared peaches the valencia oranges and then the duck right there with that glaze on it look at how amazing this looks i feel like this is going to be so good like i am expecting fireworks to happen once I take a bite or, or maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see. Honestly, it's it was hard for me to decide which was my favorite thing out of everything we got to try today It was definitely between the shrimp and this duck, but I think I'm gonna have to go with the duck I feel like I'm, I, I I do like really? the duck a lot. Yeah, the more and more I taste it I really liked uh, the glaze on there and then the peaches too You know like the peaches added a nice little combination make sure you get one that has a nice little sear on it like over here That's seared up nice when you do these tasting events, it's hard to not overeat because, you know what I mean, you want to try everything and uh, we still have stops that we have to go to to cover for the flavors of Florida. So for the most part, we just took a bite of everything except for the shrimp. We've eaten all the shrimp. Oh, yeah. The shrimp is gone. But I do feel like I need to go back in for at least one more duck before I go. Gotta have the duck. I mean, like I said, but we still have a lot to go, so I don't want to overeat. I don't want to get too full. Go on, get that duck. Go yep. on, get. Go on, get. Pa said we can't keep you anymore. I made sure nobody was in the bathroom, but I wanted to show you before he left. This is the men's room and it's green. Look how fun it looks in here. Look at this bathroom. 
Isn't that incredible? And look at the sinks too. And uh, the the ladies' room is like red. Oh, look, even fancy soap. Ah. Well, Haleo was a nice treat. I have to say I love the duck and the shrimp. And aren't those bathrooms actually really cool? I'm glad I showed you. But now we're gonna keep moving along. And of course, it's not a Disney Springs trip unless we stop to Sprinkles to get Gracie her pup cakes. She's gotta have them, I'm out. And she's been looking for them. So that's on the stop. And then also we were thinking about maybe Pizza Ponte. Have a little spicy pizza that's on the menu for Flavors of Florida. And anything else that catches our face. Fancy. Enough of Haleo. We made our way over to the Ganachery, the chocolate shop, and they're actually doing a honey lavender square. Look, you can see it in the window here. And I also like how they have the advertisements for everything. Might as well go inside. <laughs> I'm like looking at it from the outside. Yes, it's a honey lavender square for $3. Very fancy. <laughs> The Ganachery has tons of these little squares and all the different flavors. They have pistachio, mint, dark 65%, celebration. But for the uh, flavors of Florida, they have the honey lavender one. But I do like the mint one. The mint one is always good. And also the pistachio, you see it in the far back there. Yeah, oh, I do love pistachios. I like how they just serve these little chocolates in a very tiny bag like this. Look at this. That's one honey lavender square right there for $3. $3. And this is what you get. Oh, it's broken. Oh, I got a broken honey lavender. It's still going to be good, though. I'm still going to try it. But here we go. Flavors of Florida. Mm. That's actually really good. I feel like it's $3 and it's gone, though. It's definitely like two bites. I mean, I'm, I'm holding off and not finishing it right now, but I like it. The ganachery always has delicious chocolate, but I'm just not too sure where the honey and lavender is. I just taste chocolate and like this little nougat filling, unless this is supposed to be the, the lavender or something. But it is really good. Always always good to, ch to stop in at the chocolate shop, you know? The ganachery always has good chocolate, like I said, but it's sad that it's $3 and you only get like that little tiny square piece. You know what I mean? And it makes it hard because if you want more, then it costs you a lot of money. But I guess it's good for Valentine's Day and gifts to give somebody like some fancy chocolate. So I like it. I think it's good. And the, the honey lavender, it was all right. We've got one more stop to go, and it's here at Pizza Ponte for a little pizza, a little spicy pizza that they have on the menu for the flavors of Florida. And if you guys didn't know, this is my uh, favorite pizza in Florida, like in all of Florida. It's got the best pizza. Wait till I show you guys. This is all amazing, and it's all by the slice, but they're very big slices. Oh my lord, what is that right there? House-made garlic cheese pinwheel. Holy moly. Oh, this is much too good. Look at that. That looks amazing. Huh. Hi, how are you? Hi. There it is, the Pizza Diavolo. Looks, oh, Diablo, Pizza Diavolo. Huh. It's got honey on it, chili, looks really good. I normally come and I just get the pepperoni slice or the big Roman. Look at the size of this pizza. It's bigger than my head and my hand. I know you can't see it. I wish I was getting, oh, they just brought out a fresh pepperoni. But I want to try the special pizza. So it's all, so hard to not go against my original. They even cut it with scissors. Look at that. That's the way. And here is the spicy pizza. It's uh. Pizza Diablo? Diablo. Diablo, but not Diablo. Because I feel like Diablo would <laughs> still be a, right? yeah, but that would be a spicy thing, you know? And it's got salami on there. I'm excited. I'm not the biggest fan of the square, though. Like I said, I just love the round, but it's worth it. Look at that undercarriage. Look at that. Look at that. A little flop, not too much. It's definitely a little greasy, I can tell you. Look at that. Oh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> This spicy definitely creeps up on you. Like it's not overly spicy. Like I like I like mild wings. Like I don't like a lot of spice and I can handle this no problem. 
but like as you're eating it maybe it's because you think you're eating pizza but it slowly creeps up on you but i do like it i don't like it as much as the big roman and the pepperoni i get those all the time i usually skip out on the squares but i just wanted to do it today because it's a special one i usually skip out on the squares doesn't that sound funny i usually skip out on the squares it's starting to rain again we're heading back into pizza ponte <laughs> There we go. Well, this is a nice little lounge area. If you're ever in the area and you need to uh, charge up your phone, look, they have little outlets that you can just come in and stand at. They have like a little pizza counter and then a dining room. I fear like I'm not going to be able to get Gracie her pup cake today. It is such a downpour out. Look at this out here. Oh my lord, that's pretty deep right there. Look, they're going to have a river running through Disney Springs soon. Look at everyone's hiding. Ooh. I don't want to step out too much. Now this rain is here to stay. Probably be here for like an hour. It's not going to disappear in like 20 minutes like normal Disney, uh, like Florida rain, you know? I can't not get Gracie a pup cake. Like I feel like it's just been so many Disney Springs videos where I've been able to go home and give her that pup cake and she's loved it. So we're gonna run. We're gonna run in the rain to Sprinkles and then run to the car. That's the plan. Run to Sprinkles, run back to the car, go home, give Gracie her pup cake and end the video there. All right, the pup cakes have been obtained. And it's also important to point out that they don't have anything for the flavors of Florida here at Sprinkles. They just have that lemon bar cupcake that is available through 7-9 and then a s'mores one. Oh, look at that lemon bar. Kristen, that's right up your alley. You love the lemon stuff. I tried it. Oh, did you? Did you like it? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Sprinkles cupcakes. It was good. But it, there's so many good desserts here. At Disney Who has better cupcakes? Like, what's your go-to yeah, cupcakes? Yeah, but cupcakes. I mean, I Publix. Yeah. Publix has good cupcakes. Yeah, yeah I like Publix. <laughs> I do. <laughs> also, I'm so honored to be here for Gracie's cupcake uh, experience. <laughs> I've never experienced this. So well, that's funny. An honor. <laughs> and here is the pretty little princess herself. Look at what I got for you. You want a pup cake? Huh? You gotta take it out of the wrapper. Here, I'll hold it, you take it out. Oh, I'll switch it. There you go. <laughs> Where are you going with it? You can take it right there? Wow. Look at you. And with that, we are done here today. I hope you enjoyed our fun little Flavors of Florida event at Disney Springs. It was a lot of fun. Got to try lots of great food. And thank you again uh, for Disney uh, just inviting me out and uh, giving me the chance and opportunity to show you all of the amazing food items. It is a really awesome event. I highly suggest if you come to you know Disney in July and you're looking for a day outside the parks, right there it is. You know what I mean? It's kind of like doing a Epcot festival, like a food festival, but without having to pay the price of a ticket to go to Epcot. <laughs> so overall, I think my favorite dish would probably be at Haleo. I think the duck and the shrimp was just so phenomenal. The cookies were once again amazing, but I did like the coconut one a little bit better than the key lime pie one. Even though they're both good, I just, you know, I like coconut. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.